Austin Taylor this is my crochet podcast. It's going to be episode number 23. And today's episode, I have a bunch of whips. I have, um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to film my next episode for my, uh, cow that I'm hosting for my, uh, shawl pattern, or cow tutorial, whatever, however we call it, cow. I'm going to just basically explain how I am, how to, uh, work my pattern. Um, and then I have a few lips. I have I have some mail, I have some internet purchased. And then, um, and then also on this episode, this episode is sponsored by John Gardner. I have an affiliate link, I have an affiliate link with them. I'll put it in the description, in the description below. And then, and they sent me, <coughs> they sent me some of their bear yarn to dye. They sent me three skeins of the yarn. Three skeins of the Bliss Superwash Merino Chunky uh, Wool. It's 50 grams to 23 yards. So I have, I dyed one skein already. So I'll find a project. I don't know what we use this project for, but maybe a shawl, maybe a cow. I'll probably be able to use this as a make a cow. A cow. So thank you, Dark and Yarn. Um, Help, well, I'll put the affiliate link in the description mm -hmm. below, and then, um, also, um, the skein crown is also, I think, on Instagram. But there's also, there's also, the skein is also from Dark Green Yarn, it's their Sari Silk Yarn. Okay? Um, I also shipped out my first order for pins, my pins, I, was just, I shipped out my first order for pins. And I have 44 left, so I'm excited about that. Um, you can also find that in my description below as well as any of my patterns and my any of my patterns in my Etsy and my Ravelry or on my uh, the website I created for this on my pins or whatever. Um, I have one happy mail that I purchased that came in. So, um, sometime last month I purchased a, a vintage, this is a vintage, um, Michael Kors cardigan. And I like the, the texture and the pattern of it. So I want eventually want to try to do a crocheted version of it, and maybe be my first car be a cardigan pattern in the future, inspired by this cardigan. But yeah, so I have a vintage Michael Kors cardigan. I like it. It's really nice. Okay. Um, I have so, oh, and also, come here. I have bangs. I have many have bangs as well. But um, so for oops, <clears throat> for whoops right now. I'm gonna go on to my only FO I have for the. Oh, I have two FOs. <clears throat> the first FO, I already have it packaged up. It's um, it's my supple crochet piece for. Uh, for Sharon and it's for for Sharon at Nistel Yarns. I did a sample crochet piece with that, and I'm gonna ship it out hopefully next week. Um, but I have that. And then I have, I've just finished this, I finished this shawl pattern last week, the week before. And I finished this, I just finished it. I finished it. It's still new. Um, 
so I'm working out the mouth and I want to hopefully release this powder maybe in the summer. I guess it'll bring it to the mouth and I wonder if I can try to order better. I want to order maybe sport weight yarn or sport weight from soccer and then maybe pair it with uh, mohair. But it's it's a Mandela or flower or Mandela. And then I finished it and then it goes into a point. But I think once it's like in a really nicer yarn, then it'll block out bigger. And I like wearing it. I like I like to wear it like this scarf. So I think if once it's in like a better yarn, in a nicer yarn, it'll block out better. So that's a new that's an, a new a new apple. <clears throat> And then, for whips, um, Claudia, for a crochet, Claudia, a crochet Luna, and Christine Glassnitz are going to be hosting a, a cow for the art pod. It's by... It's, um, so. it's doing a call for this pattern called, it's the ARC pattern. It's on the Pom Pom issue, winter, issue 31, winter 20. Winter 2019 pattern on the Pom Pom issue. And um, uh, Chris, Christy, Christy, uh, Christy Glassnitz and Claudia Crochet Luna are going to be hosting, co-hosting a call for the sweater pattern. So I have some yarn. I have an idea for the yarn for it. Um, first, I want to try to use scrap yarn or I have an idea for it. For that. Or I'll probably once I get the yarn I'll probably I'll probably uh, hopefully because <clears throat> my idea is I um I wound up a bunch of scrap balls of acrylic yarn that I don't really use and I want to make room for new acrylic yarn. So I wound up a bunch of them. This is some more colors. So These are my like, scrap leftover skeins. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have an idea for this to be for my for that sweater for that cowl. I think the cast the the starting need is May first. So I'll put this put um Christy Glassnitz and Chris and Luna's information description below. Their channels and I'll put their Instagram. This is the combination I have for the sweater. What first combination? And then I have another one that I rolled up. I just wound up into a ball. It's for scraps. Let's see what this combination. Or maybe this combination. 
things. So I don't know. So that's a cow I'm excited for. And then I purchased two patterns. One was uh, Claudia's most recent pattern, her Lalucha pattern. Um, and I still, haven't, I still haven't found yarn for it, though, when I use for it yet. So. But I also purchased. Check yourself from Zach Stout, his most his recent pattern. I purchased that pattern. I started it. And it's in a project bag I made. It's in a project bag I made. And I have a bunch of crochet luna pins on it. I have where are the new ones? I have two new pins. Her Crucy. I have two new pins. These two pins. And then this is the progress I have on this right now. And I'm using yarn from Bag with Girl Studios. Bag with Girls. Studios. I'm using her yarn again. Um, I'm using this really pretty variegated color, really, the bottom part, the main one. This colorway is in my last video or whatever episode I shared it. But this colorway was a uh, is in the custom dyed colorway by one of my palette, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. And then I'm using the purple is Pygmy Puff. So this is my, uh, this is what I have so far. I stopped at a shorter amount of rows for the big, for the main part, for this part. Because I know it's going to block out longer. And I'm worried if I'm not going to have enough yarn. So. This is what I have so far. And I like the way it's working up. And then I have a stitch marker I purchased from um, Chevy Real, from Chevy Real Stuffs. So I'll include her Etsy below as well. So that's another whip. And then I have an idea for a sweater. Whenever I come, whenever I want to do it, I want to work it up in a new. I have an idea for a sweater. That what that's gonna be. I have an idea for a sister. That's gonna be. I want to go to go with my uh, first top pattern for my breeze top. We'll have an idea for a sweater. I want to call it the breeze sweater. So it's gonna have mesh stitches, but. So, um, this is the front part, and the front will have mesh, a mesh panel in the front, and it's just single crochets, but, yeah, so I'll have a 
that here will be the best panel. And then it, so yeah, so I just, I started this two days ago. And this is, um, nitpicks. The top part's nitpicks, so the other parts I'm using scrap iron. So I doubled up, so it's kind of got the same, the same weight, I guess. So this is a new whip. If it works out, works. If it works out, then I have an idea how to purchase them for this, for this. But yeah, so nothing hard, I guess. So. Um. So far, I like this. Hmm. And then I'm going to try to film my second part episode, second episode for the, for the tutorial or cow of my shop pattern that came out. Um, oh, and also, you can also purchase my first ever collaboration with a darn dyer for Battle of Girls, Battle of Girls Studios. Um, I did a collaboration for a yarn and you can purchase the yarn. And her Etsy below. It's like a really pretty beachy, beachy. It's, it's like a really pretty gradient from blue, from um, from beige to blues. Like it's a really beachy, really pretty beachy thing. So I'll include that below. Other than that, other than that, have a nice, wonderful day. Bye.